Hello students, I am Adi Chavardhan from AdiChemistry.com. In this presentation, I am going to explain few tricks on how to decide a spinel is normal or inverse. This presentation is for CSRNet, GATE, SET, IIT JAM and other university level exams. Let us now recall what is the general formula of a spinel. It is AB2X4 where A is a divalent cation. B is a trivalent cation and X may be oxygen, sulfur, selenium, etc. In this presentation, I am going to explain five simple rules which I have formulated so as to arrive at uh, whether a spinel is normal one or an inverse one. Okay, now the rule number one. If both divalent and trivalent ions are non-transitional metals, then the spinel will be normal. The best example is MgL2O4, which itself is known as spinel. It is a normal spinel because both magnesium and aluminium are non-transitional metals. Now, I would like to add one amendment here. The transition metal ions with D0, high spin D5 and D10 configurations can be considered equivalent to non-transitional metal ions. That is, if both A2 and B3 ions are D0, high spin D5 and D10 transitional metal ions, then the spinel will be normal. For example, ZnFe2O4 is a normal spinel because Zn2 plus is a D10 ion and Fe3 plus is a high spin D5 ion. Now the rule 2 very important. If both A2 and B3 ions are transition metals and in an octahedral site if CFSE of B3 ion is greater than CFSE of A2 ion, then the spinel will be normal, otherwise it will be inverse. For example, in FeCr2O4, the Fe2 plus ion, which is a high spin D6 ion, in octahedral symmetry, it should have T2G4 EG2 configuration. For this CFSE is equal to minus 0.4 delta octahedral and for CR3 plus which is a high spin D3 ion in octahedral symmetry it has T2G3 and EG0 configuration. For this CFSE will be equal to minus 1.2 delta octahedral. So the CFSE of chromium 3 plus ion is greater than CFSE of Fe2 plus, remember I am taking the absolute values here. Therefore, the spinel will be a normal one. The second example is NiFe2O4. Here, Ni2 plus, which is a D8 ion, will have the configuration T2G6 EG2 in octahedral symmetry. For this CFSE is calculated to be minus 1.2 delta octahedral whereas for Fe3 plus which is a high spin D5 ion in octahedral symmetry with T2G3 EG2 configuration CFSE is 0. That means uh, the CFSE of uh, trivalent ion is now less than the CFSE of divalent ion. So, one can expect this spinel to be an inverse one. Now, let us deal with rule number 3. If A2 is non-transitional, B3 is transitional, the spinel will be normal. Note that according to the amendment, we have just discussed the transition metal ions with D0, high spin D5 and D10 configurations behave as non-transition metal ions. For example, MgCr2O4 is a normal spinel 
because mg2 plus is a non transitional and uh, cr3 plus is a transition metal ion rule number 4 if a2 is transitional and b3 is non transitional the spinel is expected to be inverse but there are several exceptions to this particular rule For example, FeL2O4 according to rule 4 is expected to be an inverse spinel but indeed it is a normal spinel, an exception to rule 4. Finally, the rule number 5 you can expect what it is. There are exceptions to all the rules. In this slide, I tabulated few generalizations. Visit audichemistry.com. For more information on spinels, visit this particular page. For CSR net, gate, set and IIT jam exams. Also watch part 1 to get more idea about wonderful crystal structure of spinels. I am Adi Chavardhan from AdiChemistry.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.